These automated guided vehicles, or AGVs, move coils at IN Tech and IN Coat and are an important investment in the plant's operations. They replace AGVs that were 25 years old and prone to many problems. The new AGVs were specifically designed for this facility. On, on the current system, uh, there's you have a starting saddle and an ending saddle. Um, and what they've designed is a painted line that the vehicle follows and there's dots every so often so that it can reestablish its position, communicate back to the new level two system and then proceed to the next operation. The first movement that you saw when you got there was the uh, tandem mill produced a coil and brought it. The S1 crane is our automated crane that brings that coil down to the saddle at the level that uh, the AGV can pick it up. So it sets it down on that saddle and then as soon as it's sat down, it's all automated. So the AGVs are told to go in and pick up the coil and come out and then it raises the stabilizer arms, which you saw, and then it goes down its guided path and goes into storage where it's dropped off at the other end and then goes to a battery charger and charges. Well, there's sensors on every saddle, uh, both coil sensors for the crane and coil sensors for the AGV. And then the AGV itself has a sensor on top so it knows when it has a load, as they call it. So after this um, saddle raises up to pick up the coil, that uh, show it sees the coil there and it knows it has a load so it can take off. The system has several benefits, including improved quality. It virtually eliminates coil damage, and a built-in tracking system means that the team knows where every coil is at all times. More importantly, it's a safer system. They have um, a laser sensor uh, about waist high and another one near the floor, which uh, go out up to 180 degrees from left to right to uh, sense anything that's in front of it. And they have two ranges, uh, maybe one that's like three or four feet away, where if you get within that range, it comes to a normal stop and waits for you to move and then it takes off again. If you get so close that you like run out in front of it and it stops because you're, you're within a foot or the danger zone, it stops and will not move until somebody comes and resets it. I think the thing that I'm most proud of is that we picked the right vendor. So, um, and we had to determine how the vehicles would guide themselves. We had several options, and then what, the one we chose, we chose it for several reasons. Um, not as complicated as some other things, and I think it's easier to maintain as well. There is a lot of thought going into the guidance of the vehicles. This $5.3 million investment is getting a lot of attention. IN Tech and IN Coat hopes to purchase more AGVs in the future, and employees from other facilities have visited the plant to see this technology as they look for ways to improve their operations.